Hey guys and welcome back to another RPG video here on our Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at building an inventory system for our game, okay? By now we've begun to accumulate quite a bit of items like coins, okay? And we need a way to basically show these. We need to basically be able to track how many coins we have, how much money we have. So later on when we're doing stuff like buying items maybe, so we can keep track of how much money we have and how many of the stuff we buy, okay? So if we buy stuff like potions or equipment, we need a way to basically show them, okay? So I'm gonna add a simple, a very basic inventory system, okay? I'm gonna show you these images over here. I actually added in a few more, okay? Here's our inventory bar, okay? It's a small but very long bar that's gonna appear near the bottom of our window. And then there are these icons over here. There's a mana potion, okay? We're gonna be adding mana potions as an option, okay? Because in, in the next video, we'll take a look at, you know, casting magic and stuff and using mana for this kind of stuff. So mana potions are basically a way to replenish mana, okay? So it's kind of handy. And these icons over here, you can see that there's one regular version and then there's the icon version for these items. Okay, so what I basically want is these icon versions of the coin and the mana potion. These are going to be used on our inventory, okay, because these are both the same size, okay. So we kind of needed to resize the actual images, okay, you can see their dimensions over here. We kind of needed to resize them to an equal size and kind of small so they could fit on the inventory, okay. So yeah, they need to be a standard size, okay. So yeah, that's it for our images. And as usual, since we're adding in a new feature, we're going to need to add in some new classes, okay? So what kind of classes will we need? The first one is going to be our inventory, okay? This is basically going to be the inventory manager, okay? This is the main inventory, basically. I'm going to make one more supporting class called inventory slot, okay? Now, these are basically going to represent the individual slots inside our inventory, okay? Like, for example, our inventory can maybe display eight items, okay? Or something like that, okay? So, we'll use this class to basically easily reproduce more items, okay? And this is just a handy way of doing things, okay? It's flexible, allows us to do things faster, okay? And it's just a pretty good object-oriented approach. Okay, to programming. So without further ado, let's begin coding this inventory slot. I'll import pygame, then class inventory slot. Okay, def init, okay, all basic code. And here are our parameters. Okay, the first parameter that I wanna take is the name. Okay, this is gonna be the name of the icon, okay, that the, that the inventory slot is gonna show. So if it, if we want to show coins in this one, so we'll pass in the file path for the coins, okay? You'll see this later when we create the objects, okay? So then we'll need the position, okay? The position where to place the inventory slot, okay? And what do we need inside the inventory slot? What kind of variables do we need? Well, the first one, uh, let's let it be image, okay? By game dot image dot load and we'll put the name in here so basically whatever name gets passed in will load in an image of that type okay then let's make a rect based off this image okay so next I'll do self dot rect dot top left is equal to pause okay this is a handy way of you know just assigning an initial position to our rect and then we'll draw this image using the render function that I'm creating right now, okay? We'll draw it like self.image and then self.rect, okay? So this will draw our image to that rect, okay? And I want to add in some fonts now because currently this is only an image, but the inventory is supposed to be able to display the number of items, right? So if you have a coin image, right next to it should be a font that says we have this many coins. So for that, there's this folder over here called fonts that I made with a frostbite font in there, .ttf. That's a popular, it's a very popular font type. Okay, font file type. Now, what I want to do basically is import this file type, this 
this font into our game because I want to use something that looks better than the regular fonts, okay? And for most things in games, you don't want to use the default fonts because stuff like a game over screen, you kind of want to use something fancy, okay? So using the default font doesn't really give the same, give it the same ring, you know? So let me show you how to do this. Self.font is equal to pygame.font. Okay, I get a little confused around this part. I think it's like this, okay? And then we need to pass in the name of that font, okay? Fonts and frostbite dot ttf, okay? And let me just run this to see if it all went correctly. I think so. Okay, actually, no. I'm not sure whether this is correct right now, but we'll find out sooner or, la or later. Anyways, let me just open up our game file here, okay? And I want to op open up the inventory as well. Okay, we'll work on that soon. And okay, here's our inventory slot. I just want to render some text now, okay? I need to basically render some text, okay? This is a font, but we need to render text using this font. So for that, I'm gonna do self.font.render, okay? And this is gonna return us some text, which I'll store over here, okay? And the parameters for this, the first one is the string, okay? And what I'm doing here, something that I forgot to add is the count variable, okay? The count is basically the value or the count or the number of items, whatever you wanna call it. And over here, I'm gonna use self.count, okay? So basically it's gonna use uh, this integer converted to a string and then basically use that as a text, okay? So if our count is 20, like we have 20 coins, for example, then this is going to be uh, showing 20 next to our coins, okay? The other parameters are true, okay, that's for anti-aliasing. Then there's the color of the font as our RGB value. I'm just going to put it as black, okay, at least for now. And over here, down here, I'll come and say, uh, what was it? Display dot blit, yeah. Then text, because text is a surface, by the way, and an image is a surface. That's why they're drawn the same way. So over here, I'll say self.rect.midright, okay? And you may not understand why I'm using this right now, okay? But you will later. By default, what happens is that top left is used, okay? But I want mid-right to be used as the position to draw it to, okay? Because it'll look nice when we, you know, draw the final inventory, okay? You'll see. All right. So I think we're done here with our inventory slot, okay? We've got the image done. We've got the positioning being done, font, okay, text, good. Let's move on to the inventory now. So here we are in our inventory file. Okay, I'm gonna import Pygame, same as usual, okay. And then of course, we'll create our inventory class. Okay, man, so many typos. Okay, and over here, I'll just you know make the init function, same as always, okay. Do we want to pass in any parameters? I don't think so, not yet, okay. So for now, we'll just leave that empty. And what, what other things do we need in here? Well, for one, I want to import from inventory slot, import inventory slot, okay? Because we'll need the inventory slots because we're, we're gonna be creating inventory slots inside of our inventory. I'll make a list for slots, okay? So we can basically append every slot that we create and into this, okay? And of course, one thing that we definitely definitely need to do is actually add in the image for the inventory. So self.image is equal to pygame.image.load, okay? And images slash, what was it? Inventory? Uh, yes, this is pretty handy. And here we are. And we'll make a render function, render, okay, display, mm -hmm. And before we do that, though, let's just add, create our slots. So self dot coin slot is equal to uh, inventory slot. Where what are our parameters again? The first one is going to be the name or the file path. Okay, so it'll be images slash coin. Was it capital or not capital? I think it was lowercase. So yeah, then here will be our mana potion slot. We'll just call it mana slot. 
and here, here will be mana underscore potion, that's what it was called. Then what we'll do is simply append them into our slot list. Or even better, we can just do this, self.slots.append, okay, whichever you find easier, okay, go ahead and do that self.slots.append and you see this is just how easy it was to create new inventory slots okay and one thing I totally forgot to do was add in the positions so we'll do that right now okay uh, 10 maybe and on the Y this will be roughly 350 or yeah 350 okay we'll adjust that later if needed and over here I'll keep roughly a hundred pixels in between our inventory slots okay same Y position. Now I'll come down here and for slot in self.slots we'll call the render function, okay? Render and just pass in display over here and then it'll go into our, uh, where was it, inventory slot code and draw all of this automatically, okay? So that's pretty handy. And yeah, pretty good. Hmm. Is there anything we're missing? I feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Mm, no, I don't think so. Not yet, at least. All right. So this is our render function. And of course, we need to render the image as well. And be sure to render the image first, by the way, not afterwards. So display dot blit self dot image. And what else? There's going to be the rect which we didn't make yet. So self.rect is equal to self.image dot get rect. Okay. Then self.rect dot top left is equal to um, zero and 350. Okay. So then we'll pass in self.rect over here and we are good, I think. Okay. So yeah, not bad. Now, what I want to do is basically take this inventory. Okay and put it into our user interface because I kind of decided that maybe everything that we make re related to GUI should co come in through the user interface, okay? So this can be like our main GUI class, then we can have stuff like the inventory and uh, maybe something like a menu all, you know, be a part of the user interface class, okay? So what I'll do is from, come on, inventory, import inventory, okay? Then I'll come over here and create the inventory, okay, as an object, inventory, and there weren't any parameters as far as I'm aware, so yeah, and I'll come down here, of course, and say self.inventory.render and pass in display. So it's a pretty, neat, you know, interesting chain of commands. There's display coming in from here, okay, then there's display going in there, then there's display going in there and then it goes all the way in user slots okay so yeah that's pretty interesting is there anything left i don't think so so we'll go ahead and run our code and i'm sure there's going to be some problems so we'll sort them out as they come okay it's loading loading and no it's missing one additional parameter called pause Okay, what is wrong with that? Okay, I get the problem. Okay, that makes sense. This is just a silly little mistake I think I made. Um, it should be over here, like this actually. Okay, yeah, like that. And let's try this again. Hopefully there should be no more issues, but of course there is. It takes exactly two arguments, one given. What was this? Oh, of course. Uh, well, at least I did the function right. Um, inventory slot, okay. And I totally forgot to pass in the font size, okay. Because this takes both the font and the font size, okay. So let's try this again. And good, here we are. There's our, okay, well, interestingly, we, we just saw what happens when we don't use our icons, okay? This is not how I want it to appear, okay? Um, one second, just give me a slight moment. This is supposed to be icon, and this is supposed to be this, if I remember, if I remember the names correctly, okay? So let's try that again. 
Okay, good, but just one slight issue. They should be drawn a, bit, a little bit lower, I think. So come here and just 360 maybe. Okay, and this is the, this is the kind of the thing with GUI. You just need to keep trying, keep tweaking things until you get it right. Okay, actually that's just about you know the story with almost anything. So yeah, here's our little inventory. Okay, it's pretty cool. Okay, it uh, shows things correctly. Okay, it shows our coins, mana potions. Okay, and once we add in more items later on, it'll show those as well. But we're still not done. Yes, we're still not done. I want to make something called def toggle inventory okay this is basically gonna toggle our inventory and i don't think this should be here actually this should be part of our user interface okay because maybe you don't want that G that um, inventory on all the time okay maybe not so what we'll do is simply create a variable for inventory um, inventory render is equal to false or should we keep it on by default or off by default? Well, since we're creating it right now and debugging it, we'll keep it on at least. Maybe later we can you know, turn the default settings to off. Okay. And self dot, okay, sorry, if self dot inventory render, okay, is equal to true, then do self dot, oh, wait, this actually, this was supposed to be in here actually. I made a slight mistake. Hopefully you're still following. This is all pretty simple code, honestly. Okay, so basically what I'm saying here, only if it's true, only if this variable is true, only then render it, okay? And what the toggle inventory is gonna do is, uh, let's just copy that. What this is gonna do that if it's true, it'll turn it to false. And otherwise, it'll turn it to true. Okay, pretty effective. Now, how am I going to trigger this function? Okay, so let's go over into our game file now, and we'll add in a new key press detection. Okay, so we'll tie in the H key for this. Okay, you know, H to hide inventory. And now we'll just call the UI.toggle inventory function. Okay, and let's just go ahead and run this now, and hopefully everything should be working. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, huh, parameters. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what's up. I'm pretty sure we're missing a self somewhere, okay? And yeah, exactly. So let's just try this again. Okay, and okay, H, but huh, it's not coming back. It's going, but not coming back. I pressed it once, it disappeared. Press it again, it didn't come back. What could be the issue? Um, uh huh. Let's try some stuff over here. Okay, I can't believe I didn't notice this. It was just, I need to fix this, okay? And I'll come back here and run this again, and this will work, definitely. Okay, because it's pretty simple. Yep, there we go. We have our inventory that can now toggle on and toggle off, okay? So that's pretty good. And for now, we'll just stop over here, okay? We'll slowly build up the inventory, okay? It's not complete, obviously, okay? We still haven't uh, actually begun tracking stuff, okay? Like coins and potions. And that's because we haven't really properly added them yet, okay? Well, coins have been added, but potions, not yet. So what, so you know what, we'll take a break. We'll, in the next video, take a look at fireballs and stuff. That's cool. That's pretty cool and interesting. We'll take a look at magic and how to cast it. And in the video after that, we'll take a look at mana potions. Okay, and we'll add in a new item. And then we'll finally, you know, complete our inventory system. Okay, there's only a few, you know, just about five more minutes of code left. But I don't, I don't want to drag this out too much. This, you know, this video has already gotten pretty long. So we'll stop here and continue, continue later and slowly build up the inventory over the course of the next two videos. Okay, so that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, leave some feedback, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video.